Hello, so this is the third video uh, continuing in the series where we are learning how to create your own website using WordPress when you have your own hosting. And it's, a lot of these things are similar to WordPress.com with some exceptions with what you can do, which I'm going to talk about now. Now, whenever you log back into your dashboard, you'll see this option called Update. So you always want to click on it, and whenever there is an update, you want to go ahead and update it. So there is this plugin which needs updating, so you I could update it, which I'll talk about plugins in a few minutes. Uh, I've got a comment waiting, which was because I put a picture there. I could always go and approve the comment, or I could just trash it if I didn't want it. Okay. And to control the settings for comments, I can go to settings and under discussion. So there is a whole bunch of settings here as to who can post a comment and, and things like that. And you can say uh, an author must always approve the comment that's so that no post can be posted without your confirmation. Or the other setting is if somebody's already posted a comment that you've approved, that person's comment can go through. I don't mind. So there's a whole bunch of settings you can control in this uh, discussion settings option here. I'm going to come back to appearance themes. Now I had uh, shown you how I had installed this theme. I'll show you one more time. Install themes, look for search, and uh, I can look for any of the themes here. And whichever I like, I can approve it. If you knew of a particular theme, you can always search by that name. And there's a whole bunch available that uh, you'll be amazed how many uh, different looks are available okay and they all will have some different features which I'm going to talk about a little bit more where you can even get some paid ones like you can buy some themes which are paid so if I wanted this I could just click install it will start installing and I can click activate now this particular one is installed I can come back to my front end and I can hit refresh so the look of my website changed and I can come to in this one I've got the header options so I can come to header and I can choose my own header if I had one okay and there are some basic options that are available here that you can choose they just have a different feel to it now these themes are good and they are nice so you can work with it but if you want it you can buy your own theme so I'll just show you themeforest.net and you can come here and you can look for WordPress themes and you'll find there are a lot of them for forty dollars thirty dollars and I'll just point to it so so these are paid that will have like much better feel to it much more features and they'll all have their own unique feel to it so there's a whole bunch of stuff you can find here and you can do a search by different criteria nonprofit if you had a restaurant you can find the one for a restaurant they have one for e-commerce if you wanted to sell stuff, you can just add this e-commerce related theme that will really make it easy for you. So this one's got this look. So if I wanted, I could click on it and I can do a live preview just to see what it looks like. And it's not bad uh, and they'll also support for you uh, that you can use. Okay. And this is a whole bunch of stuff. And another one that you'll find interesting is the one that I've used called elegantthemes.com and this company what they are doing is for forty dollars they give you access to like all of their themes and if you are somebody who's developing for other people then you can pay like ninety dollars and you can use their theme in different places so they have all these different looks and there are many uh, different looks which are actually what's called responsive so in here too they have like 15 different ones called responsive which a lot of the themes are where when you look at your website on your cell phone on your smartphone it will automatically adapt to it if you look on a tablet it will automatically adapt to it so all of these different looks they have different features and that you can find the one that works best for you so I've got some in my uh, I have an account with them and I've installed it so I can if I want it once I download this I can go to themes and I can go to install and I can upload a theme that I have 
that I've bought or I have, then I can upload it. So I'm going to click Upload and I'm going to choose the file and install it. So I'll just pause the video for a minute. So I have installed a theme from my computer, uploaded it, and I'll activate it. And I'll come to my blog and I'll hit Refresh. And it looks like this. Uh, and before I can start using this properly, I'll go to my settings and reading and I'll change this back to my latest post otherwise a lot of the features of the themes will not work and let's come back here and I'll hit refresh and it looks a little different now so let me show you a little bit about this how you can go about it and I can go to appearance 13 floor themes because a lot of these themes will have some good features uh, so this one they have this e-panel where you can upload a logo if you had it I can change the color scheme from blue to say yellow okay and I just down and I hit save and I can come back and I hit refresh and now the look the colors have changed and I've got this feature here that showed up and what that guy is they what I can do is I can have like an animation like a featured slider and I can say, you know what, use my pages. So I'm enabling it. And I can say in the pages, use the home page, services page, sample page, and the contact page. And I can enable the slider. And I can also choose that when somebody points to it, don't run the slider. And it is like 5,000 milliseconds. That is every five seconds it will change and I can hit save I'll come back I hit refresh and there it is you see I've got the sample page home page contact us services okay so there are different things that are available here okay and uh, now I'll just show you how you can change the wording and add a pictures just a little bit. But if you needed help, you, they always have some support section like in the support docs. And you can open this documentation. Just right click on it. I'll open it on a separate window. And they have more information as to how you can go about doing all of these things. So I'll just show you something here. Uh, I'll go to pages. Sample page. Now to add a picture on the side, all I have to do is add a featured image. So if I want it, I can just click this, which I have already uploaded earlier. Or you can upload your files. And I can click set. That image is set. I can put some excerpts here. That will show up on the bottom there, which I'll show it to you in a minute sample page and also I want to change the button so what I have to do is click here in the custom field and I'm going to add button instead of the sign in sign up it will say read more I can click add so that button is added click update okay, I'm going to go to appearance 13 floor theme options and uh, I'm going to scroll down here in this general section and activate the excerpt options. I'll say excerpt should be enabled and I'll hit save. I'll come back to my front end. I'll hit, uh, this is my front end. I'll hit refresh. And now I should have that picture. Let's see. Maybe the picture is too big. Right there. And there is the read more. And now in five seconds, the page should change to the next one so I can read more about that next page. So this is what's called a slider. And a lot of these websites, they have that feature. Okay, and that word, this is sample page, came up from the... But you'll find that their help section has a lot of information how to go about it. And they also have a support section where you can go and do more. And you can control their navigation from here. You can choose what you want there. Or you can go into appearance menus 
and you can activate the menu that we had created called default so you can control that options I'll do one more uh, thing in this video and it's called plugins plugins are great uh, you can add plugins for all kind of stuff you wanted a plugin to show say you wanted to show your Facebook and all of that stuff so you can look for uh, social media and you'll have to play with this and there are lots of different free plugins available floating social media so it will be floating on your website somewhere you can install it so say if I click install now it's asking me are you sure I say yes okay once it's installed I can activate it Now the plugins getting activated. Now I can go to their settings page for this, and I can choose what kind of uh, themes I want. And under, I can click here to visit social settings icons, and I can click here to continue. Now I can scroll down and I can start writing here so whatever my things are so I can start putting them here this is my YouTube account and I just hit save and there are a whole bunch of settings here that you can use uh, there's a save button, it should be up here somewhere. Oh, there it is, save, just below there. Now let's see if I come back to my blog, I hit... And you see that thing showed up on the right-hand corner. And you can have it wherever you want it in there. Left-hand corner, top corner. And a lot of these themes time have some of these features, so you may not even have to install it, but plugins are great I can even click and add new and I can install a plugin look for a plugin called eShop which is like e-commerce so you can add like e-commerce stuff onto it and they'll have some free features and then you have to pay for it but even if you have to pay for these plugins it's still worth it when you are doing it on your own uh, you can even get professional help once you've done the basic part you can get somebody else to do it for you and uh, you can keep on adding more functionality for a lot of these things so I'll stop at this point for this video and maybe I'll do another one if I felt like I need to add more features. Thank you for watching.